Hey there, this video is about making desert terrain. I'm planning to make an entire table, so testing different versions of rocks seems to be a good idea. By the way, the next PDF on Patreon gonna deal with basic rock model techniques. If you are looking for tools and materials for terrain making, check out tabletopterrainlenny.com. There is a list of products that I recommend. The process started with the base and sketching on it where the terrain elements should be located. Decide where slopes and rock formations could be. The slope is from styrofoam, recesses for the sandstone rocks get cut out. Carving the edges of the MDF base to get a smooth transition to your gaming surface. An exacto knife does the job well. Glue the slope in place. The rocks get a body of hard foam layers to represent the structure of layered sandstone. Wood glue is the glue of choice. The top layer is a little bit overlapping to connect the styrofoam slope with the rocks. Two picks with wood glue gives the structure more stability. Time to sculpt the rock. I started to cut out chunks and boost the layered structure with a wire brush. Wear a dust protection to keep the foam outside your body. Work carefully and do not cut yourself. We do not need authentic blood effects here. Horizontal cuts amplify the layered structure. The styrofoam slope gets sculpted by hand. Easy. And it is a mess. Time to cover the body of the rock with a colored filler mixture. The rocks get brushed with the direction of the layers. The slope gets stippled.
embedding a few pebbles to add more detail. Press them into the wet mix and clean them a bit. A pinch of sand helps to achieve a nice soil texture. The upper side of the rock should be flat. The rocks may look more interesting when they have different height levels. Time to modify. Cut out the layer and glue the cap back on top. More carving and texturing. Perhaps I could have stopped and started painting at this state. But hey, that is just a test. Without testing, no learning. Sand and stones for more soil variation. And a bit of sanding to achieve a very smooth sandstone looks. Created by wind erosion. The model gets primed in bright ochre. I add about 30% of ultra matte medium and water to achieve a less shiny finish. A less shiny surface looks more realistic and is nicer and easier to photograph or film. The next layer is a wash of dark ochre, matte medium and 90% of water. Followed by dry brushing and sand beige, which was a mistake. The beige was too bright, so I mixed a shade between light ochre and beige. Followed by the sandy beige dry brushing. A layer of dark ochre wash blends it together and hides the spray of the dry brushing. Thin layers of dark ochre for the recesses. And bright ochre for the overhanging areas. That helps to improve the depth of the painting. The layering creates a nice painted desert look. A few spots get darkened with raw umber.
I will keep on testing and make more experiments with building and painting desert rocks. So stay tuned. If you like this kind of content, make sure you ring the bell and hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep this terrain train rolling, check out the links in the description below. Follow on Instagram, like on Facebook or become a patron. Link, like and share. In the meantime, we uh, release a monthly layouted PDF tutorial about terrain making on Patreon. You can also find a free PDF as an appetizer. So just follow the links to our Patreon, explore what is going on, download the free PDF tutorial and maybe become a supporter on Patreon. The list on tabletopterrainlenny.com recommends tools and materials for terrain modeling. This is an easy way to support the channel. If you have any questions or critics, drop a kind comment. Thank you and keep on making terrain.